Hi, my name is Troy Kilgore, and I'm a painter from Indiana. I've painted a lot of different subjects over the last 17 years, but I can definitely say that landscape is my favorite. There's nothing like natural sunlight. Its intensity can't be matched in a studio. And the colors it reveals are inspiring. I set up my still life under a tree in my yard. It's got plenty of shade and a little bit of dappled light. I'll use some flowers from our garden I also like to use glass colored vases. I like to use a lot of texture and color. I try to take notice of how the light from the sun and the color from each object interact. I use oil paints and Utrecht is the brand that I've been using for the last 15 years. The colors are rich and consistent, and the body of the paint can be described as medium, not too soft, not too firm. I really like this field easel. It sets up really quickly, and it's very sturdy. I've had large paintings on this, and pretty good wind is held up. Welcome to Plein Air Magazine's Plein Air Salon Awards, sponsored by Realism Live, the world's largest virtual art conference. Realism Today presents Realism Live, the ultimate art learning event, October 21 through 24. Five days of online art lessons from leading artists. Learn to paint nature, people, flowers, and more. Become a better artist. Click the link to register now. For nine years, Plein Air Magazine has honored the best artists in the world, awarded annually at the Plein Air Convention and Expo each spring. Winners are selected in each monthly competition by independent judges made up of gallery and museum directors and leading art icons. Paintings are judged blindly without artist names in 19 categories, which include Plein Air and studio painting in a variety of subjects. Category winners are then entered into the annual competition, which are blindly judged on a point system by the editors of Plein Air Magazine. Today's finalists represent the best of the best, and today we're awarding $21,000 in prize money, including a $15,000 grand prize and the coveted cover of Plein Air Magazine. Now, let the awards begin. Here's your host, Plein Air Magazine founder and publisher, Eric Rhodes. Hey, welcome to our first uh, virtual art conference. Normally, we would give away the Plein Air Salon our Art Competition Awards celebration would take place at the Plein Air Convention. But of course, we had to delay it. We rescheduled it, and then we had to cancel it. So we had all this money sitting around. We had to give it away, and today is the day we're giving it away. And so welcome, and thank you for watching. We have some very excited people you're going to meet today, and we're going to give away a bunch of cash. First, I'd like to introduce you to a couple of people, uh, but I, I want to tell you that uh, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, may you live in interesting times. Well, we are living in interesting times, aren't we? And we all have had to find new ways to do business, new ways to sell art, new ways to communicate. And isn't this wonderful that we have this opportunity to be together? And quite frankly, there will be thousands of people who will see this tonight or see the replays and be able to see it when they maybe hadn't been able to go to the Plein Air Convention to see it live. And so uh, thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot. Uh, we're really excited. Um, Shakespeare said, all the world is a stage. And it certainly has come true this year because we have this worldwide audience. We will have, by the end of the day, people watching in 15 or 20 countries at least. We've been doing a live daily every day at 12 noon. 
I've been there for you guys, interviewing artists, showing various art uh, ideas, showing art marketing, and we've had uh, five, 6,000 views a day by the end of the day, and we've had people from all over the world participating, becoming part of the family. We'd invite you to that. And uh, first now, let's get right to our editors. Please welcome Kelly Kane, uh, the editor of uh, Plen Air Magazine, and Sherry Haas. Uh, okay, ladies, here we are. Hi, Eric. Hey. Hello. So we're all operating from the uh, safety and comfort of our own stage. Yeah, a little, <laughs> so, different, uh, here, a little different. So uh, we all three have been involved in the, in the process of judging. What are your thoughts about this year? Well, you know, I don't think it would be a surprise to anybody who's been following along with the monthly competitions that this has been um, an extraordinarily strong year for the salon. And um, when we had to go through all of the entries, all of the winners from the past year and narrow it down to the top 20, it was really tough. I mean, there were strong options across the spectrum. And, um, but when, when it came down to the final ranking and picking our top six, we were totally in sync. And that um, makes me feel really good about this year's lineup. And um, I'm really excited. You know, I wish we could all be in person, but it's nice that we have this chance to celebrate with all of the finalists and um, and to name our winners live tonight. Yeah, it's very exciting. And, and uh, so people know the way we do this is that we, first off, we blindly uh, look at all the, all the, the paintings. Uh, we don't know whose, whose names are on them. And then once we, uh, we all vote, we pick our finalists, then we put together a point system. So we basically, it's a, what was it? It was one through 10 or one through one through five. I don't remember which yeah. it was. Yeah, I can't remember. But we, uh, so we put together a, a, a point system uh, for each of the paintings, again, not knowing who the artists are. And what was amazing is that our points were almost perfectly mm -hmm. in sync this year. I mean, uh, we were a hundred percent on uh, each of the top three, and so it was. It was really an interesting exercise, and it just it says that quality rises to the top. So, Sherry, what are your thoughts about all of this? Kelly, I wish we could all be in person for this, but it's exciting that we're all able to come together in this way, and um, it's really humbling to be a part of such a special thing. So it's it's an honor to to be with such a great high caliber of artists. Well, talk to me about um, what what an art competition does in terms of elevating an artist. What um, how, how does that impact an artist in in terms of their career and making them better? Any thoughts? Well, I can start. I can, yeah, I can start. You know, the top prize winner gets the cover of the magazine, and that is, I think, an incredible boost, um, especially for our magazine, which is, as we know, the top um, seller in the newsstand. So that alone is a huge boost. But, you know, people often ask me, how do I find artists to feature in the magazine? And I just wanted to say to everybody is that competitions is a big way that I do that and find people, you know, and it, it's where a lot of people first come on my radar and then I'll see their name pop up or I watch them. And then, you know, invariably, um, and I think it's an offshoot of entering competitions is the work improves. You know, you up your game when you're putting your work up against other artists and over time that builds up. And then that's how, you know, that's how I find a lot of people to feature. It really changes your mindset, doesn't it, Sherry? Because when when you put yourself in the game and you know you're up against other people, it really makes you look twice and make sure that you're, you know, you're examining your quality and making sure that you're you're living up to the best you can be at the time. And I learned from uh, Peter and Elaine Adams at the California Art Club, who do the annual gold medal awards that uh, they saw when they first started doing it, they saw the overall quality of the club uh, get to a very high level very quickly. And we have seen this, this is the ninth time we've done this, these awards. And when we first did it, you know, there were not as many super high quality choices. And this year, the choices were spectacular. I mean, across the board, there were a lot of really terrific artists. And I think that just speaks to the idea 
that uh, quality really makes a big difference when, when you're putting yourself out there and you're trying to win awards. Of course, the other piece of that is when you enter awards and you win in any category, you know, uh, we'll tell you about that in a minute, but if you win in any category, you now have something to talk about. You have something to put on your website, to put on your social media, to talk to your, your gallery about or to your collectors about. And these things elevate you in the eyes of other people. And so it's, it's always helpful. And what's been really fun to watch, uh, you know, people will say, I have, uh, I, I've not, uh, I, I've been a little uncomfortable entering because I know I'm up against some really great people. And yet we've seen uh, outliers many, many times who were virtually unheard of or maybe well-known in their communities. I think of Shelby Keefe right now. Shelby is a superstar, or Kathleen Hudson. You know, they're very well-known nationally now, but when they entered, they were not necessarily well-known well nationally. And, and Shelby Keefe, I remember telling me that uh, she said, "I, you know, I, I was doing okay locally, but I didn't have, you know, I didn't know anybody nationally. And I, so I, I just kind of held my breath and I entered and here she won. And then she got on stage. And the next thing we know, we invited her back to, to do a demo on stage at the convention. We invited her to do a video, but also uh, to watch what has happened to her and to many of the other artists is when we're showing that picture of them holding that big check up uh, all year, every year and promoting them, they're, they're starting to get an invitations to be uh, featured at, at plein air events around the country. Uh, they're getting invited to speak. They're uh, getting calls from galleries. So it, it can really be a career changer and, and not just for the people who win the main prize, but people who win any of the category prizes or the top prizes. So it's pretty cool to watch. Yeah, it is, love to be a part of it. Yeah. So what I thought I'd do real quickly is I'd go through how the plein air salon works. Um, essentially, we have 19 different categories. The categories uh, range from different mediums, different subject matters, you know, like oil, acrylic, pastel, watercolor, gouache, and then, you know, floral, landscape, nocturne, sunset, sunrise, figure, portrait, outdoor, still life, water, animals, birds, western, uh, drawing and sketches, plein air work only, uh, buildings, vehicles, student work, artist under 30, artist over 65. The idea is we're trying to give everybody opportunities to win in categories uh, so that they have something to talk about. And uh, uh, we have top judges, top icons, uh, people like Jean Stern, uh, the, the director emeritus of the, of the Irvine Museum, or uh, Helena Fox, the owner of the Helena Fox Gallery, Seth Hopkins, the executive director of the Booth Museum of Western Art, and John uh, Manzari, the director of the Meyer Gallery, and many, many others. And what's really interesting to me is I've had scholars tell me uh, that uh, when they've chosen certain paintings, they've gotten in touch with the artist and said, you know, we need to get your painting into a museum, or we need to do we need to work on your book or, or something like that? We've had gallery owners tell us they discovered new artists. And as a result, they've invited them into their galleries. We've even had museum people invite people into museums. And so there's a, a lot of huge opportunity. And so that's that's pretty cool. So there is, um, there's $1,000 in monthly prizes. The monthly prizes, we just wanted a little incentive there, but the big money is in the, the annual prizes. So we, you know, we got $12,000 in monthly prizes total, and then we stack it on top of $21,000 in, in annual prizes uh, for, the, for the national competition. And as Kelly and Sherry said, uh, $15,000 cash, which is, I think, the largest cash prize in the art competition world. There are some, so there are prizes that are bigger, but they're, you know, they're combined with advertising and things like that. And so this is all cash and, of course, the cover of Plein Air magazine which is, is pretty, pretty cool. So um, what we're gonna do is, um, let's see here, what are we gonna do? I gotta, gotta figure this out. Um, we're now going to go through uh, the top 20 finalists. And so we narrowed it down to 20 people. And uh, so thumbs up and applause when you see these people, uh, you know, if you're in the comments section, thumbs up, hearts, applause, et cetera, for each of these people. Now, it is an honor, a huge honor to be a finalist uh, in the top 20 uh, in, in the plein air salon art competition. 
And remember, not all work is plein air. We, we allow studio work and, and other forms of work. So uh, first, uh, and these are in alphabetical order, uh, first of the top 20 finalists is Ben Bauer. Now, I don't have the names of these paintings. Uh, take a quick look at them. If you're on a small screen, you'll, you can zoom in. But uh, I'm just going to show you everybody's work. Uh, then we have Richard Boyer, Nicholas Coleman, T.J. Cunningham, uh, Mark Grandboy, Harrison Derrick, Ryan Jensen, Christine Lashley, Kyle Ma, Jennifer McChristian, in there twice, Jennifer McChristian, Kathy Odom, Jason Sacron, Dave Santianis, Michael Situ. I'm going to have trouble with this one. I'm sorry. Heinz Yo. Okay. Does anybody, okay, Kelly, do you have any? Can you give me some help on this? No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to say, Heisen Yai Singh. So I'm sure I got it wrong. My apologies. Please forgive me. Uh, Kim Vanderhoek. Kim is also one person who's in here twice. Uh, Kim Vanderhoek again. Uh, now, Stephen Walker and Jim Woodark. So please, a round of applause for all of our top 20 finalists. I, I hope you guys are all applauding at home. Uh, so this is pretty exciting. So uh, we're going to have the final winners announced here in just a second. Uh, just a quick word from our sponsors. So hang on one second. I'll get to this. Do you wish you could draw or paint but lack the confidence? Many people think it requires natural talent, yet anyone can learn to draw or paint. You could spend 3000 or more to attend a live workshop or convention, or you can learn it from the world's finest for a fraction of the cost at Realism Live, the world's first virtual online art conference devoted to realism. I got to meet artists from all over the world, which is not something that I can normally do at an event. And I thought this was such an amazing event with Plain Air Live that I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to sign up for Realism Live. And I'm just already so anticipating and looking forward to it. Four days of world-class artists demonstrating in portraiture, landscapes, still life, the human figure, flowers, color mixing, drawing, painting, and more. This year's amazing faculty includes figurative master Odd Nerdrum, world-renowned artist Graydon Parrish, author Juliet Aristides, the incredible Joshua LaRock, superstar Rose Franson, the incomparable Daniel Sprick, master flower painter Kathy Anderson, portrait and figure master Daniel Gerhardt, landscape master Mark D'Alessio, founder of the Florence Academy Daniel Graves, Connor Graves, Walton, Connor Cornelia Hernandez, Cornelia Hair Mitchell, Dean Eric Mitchell, Pogel, Eric Aaron Pogel. Meads, Gabriella Deloso, Jean Stern, Jeff Legg, Jennifer Balkan, Jesus Emmanuel Villarreal, Kathy Odom, Stephen Bowman, Todd Casey, Tony Surinai, Victoria Herrera, William A. Schneider, and many more to come. There was so much knowledge packed into four days, it was phenomenal. I got classes taught by the very best instructors alive today. And with Realism Live coming up, I couldn't resist. I thought, I'm going to the master's program next. I'm going to take Realism Live. Get to know other artists and instructors personally through our breakout sessions. And we'll even paint and draw together from live models in the safety of your own home. Make new friends in our breakout session. Paint with hundreds of others. Get private access to our exclusive members group to become part of our community. And learn to take your artwork to a higher level. 
Realism Live, October 21st through the 24th. And for people who want to learn painting from scratch, start with our Beginner's Day on October 20th. Soon you'll be painting faces, people, flowers, scenery, objects, and other subjects. You'll see your artwork get better faster as you learn from top artists from all over the world. I learned from a group of the best painters in the world without leaving my country, which is like a dream came true. Make history as part of the world's first Realism Art Conference. Sign up today and join the world as we learn art together. From the publishers of Fine Art Connoisseur, Plein Air, and Realism Today. Realism Live. Sign up today. Well, th thank you. Thank you to Realism Live, our sponsor, which is us, of course, and uh, also to our other sponsor, Blick Art Materials. Now, are you guys ready to let's give away it. some money? Yes. All right, let's do it. This is exciting. And uh, so we're, we're going to do this. The way we do it is we're going to start with six finalists. Uh, we have narrowed everything down to the top six. And so uh, we're going to tell you the top six each one of them, and then we're going to meet each one of them individually. So the first finalist in the top six is Ben Bauer. Ben, congratulations on being a finalist. Thank you very much. Now, Ben, where are you? You're in uh, in the Northeast somewhere? I'm in Minnesota, Stillwater, Minnesota, to be exact. Outstanding. Well, what a beautiful painting. It's a nocturne. I'm going to show it again. Tell us a little bit about this painting. So this painting is based off of a reference photo drive I took with an old college roommate and one of my best friends. Um, he lives in Buffalo County, which is one of the best counties in Wisconsin in my mind. Um, it's known all over the upper Midwest for its deer hunting and farming land. We were out one night. Um, I saw this image in the moonlight. We came back the next day. I had to photograph it drove home thinking about how to compose things. There's a little bit of things that I changed around in it, but I ended up with, a, in my mind, exactly what I wanted to say with it, so. Well, congratulations on being one of our six finalists. And we'll be, we'll be back with you in just a minute. So next we have, uh, our next finalist is, drum roll please, Nicholas Coleman. So uh, please meet Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. Uh, we're not hearing you. You're mute. You're muted. Yeah, I did do that. Okay, yeah. So here I am. Okay, that sound a little better. That sounds a lot better. That's okay, it's, okay. it's terrific. And where are you coming to us from, Nicholas? Uh, uh, Provo, Utah. Provo, Utah. What a beautiful area to paint. You know, I lived in Provo, Utah for eight years, uh, six years, and I was not a painter at the time. And I I need to come out there and paint. So I, I would imagine you can show me some great spots. Definitely, definitely. <clears throat> so why don't you tell us a little bit about this painting uh, here? Um, so I, I, I paint a lot of historical uh, wildlife and, and Western paintings, and, and a few of my favorite places to go are up in Wyoming, Montana, and, and Idaho especially, and, and of course Utah. And, and uh, my favorite time of day is early in the morning and, and uh, just about when it's get to get dark in the evening. And, and uh, this is, I think this is up in... Uh, up in Wyoming, um, near the Wind Rivers, and, and there's a little bit of some sketches I made, photographs I, I've taken, and and of course I've imagined a little bit uh, in there. I, I, I tend to romanticize uh, the West a bit, and uh, um, but yeah, that's I'm, I'm not sure what else I, I can re remember exactly about this one. All right, well that's that's fabulous. Thank you, Nicholas. Uh, congratulations you. and uh, good luck it. today. And uh, next, we're going to meet the next of our six finalists, Christine Lashley, uh, who did this beautiful painting. Christine, uh, congratulations. Thanks so much, you guys. Um, I, I'm honored to have been selected as a finalist. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. We, uh, this, unfortunately, because it's a vertical, it's hard to fill up the screen with it, but can you tell us a little bit about this painting? Uh, sure. 
This was created for Plein Air Richmond, which in fact doesn't exist anymore, but it was a wonderful event while it lasted. And um, I, I saw this, it was the first night of a Plein Air competition. And I thought, wow, I'm going to get out my biggest panel that I have, which was an 18 by 24. And I just attacked that canvas and just kind of went crazy. And then my methodology is to, you know, start with this really abstract underpainting and then tighten it up. And so I actually worked two nights on this and one dawn to get it all finished. But and, did you, and, and you worked on it from location. Yes, it was all done plein air. And uh, to me, this painting is special because um, one day I wasn't really feeling all that well, but I knew the uh, conditions were perfect. So I forced myself out and just showed up and thought, you know, even if I do a paint, a couple of paint strokes, it's going to be worth it. And so it's, it's kind of a personal triumph. So thanks for recognizing that. Uh, congratulations and uh, uh, good luck. Thank you. Okay. So next on our top six, uh, let's see here. We have Kyle Ma. Congratulations, Kyle Ma. Let's see if we can find Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey, thank you. I'm very honored to be selected. And it looks like you're in a hotel room. Yeah. Um, I'm in Colorado right now. I'm gathering some reference material for some fall color. Now, Kyle, uh, you go to the University of Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you're in Colorado. How did that work? Well, all of the classes right now are are online, so I'm able to to rent out a, a place and and then just um, just lo log into my computer whenever it's time time for class. Well, you're dedicated to your plan air work, getting out there and and doing studies and photographs. So um, so will you tell us a little bit about this painting? Yeah, of course. So um, this painting, I found this subject in Utah, and this was a this was a pretty big painting for me. It's thirty six by forty eight inches. So I was thinking a lot about the large paintings that I see in the museums, and kind of the goal the goal was it of this painting was to get as much interest as possible, even no matter what distance you view it at. So when you go go up close. Um, there's hopefully there's a, a lot of little things like this broken color um, that you, you can ap appreciate. So yeah, it's kind of the concept behind this painting. Excellent. All right. Well, Kyle, congratulations and good luck. Uh, we're, we're all rooting for you. We're rooting for everybody. <clears throat> the next one, uh, the next finalist is Jennifer McChristian. Jennifer, congratulations uh, on being a finalist. Thank you. All right, so I, I, I got to find you there. There we are. So, so uh, looks like it's daylight where you are. Yep, sun is setting pretty soon. <laughs> and and uh, you're on the West Coast? Yes, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're still in lockdown. You've been getting a lot of painting done. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <clears throat> well, tell us, tell us about this painting here. Okay, uh, well, um, my husband and I went to uh, San Francisco a while back, a few years ago, to view the um, Andrew Zorn exhibition at the Legion of Honor Museum. I don't know if you've seen that one, but it's a great show. I was there. Uh, oh, oh, wonderful. So after the show, we did a little bit of sightseeing and later, later on ventured off into uh, the beloved Chinatown, which I love. The San Francisco Chinatown is amazing. And uh, we're notorious night owls, so we just stayed up late. And after dinner, we strolled through Chinatown, and I was just struck by just all the beautiful, like bright orange and red banners, just glistening against the dark blue sky. And and I kind of like that. Usually, this area is always bustling with tourists and locals. And I kind of wanted to capture it in a, in a quiet moment, you know. So, yeah. Wow, that's that's fabulous! Congratulations on, on being uh, one of the six finalists, and good luck to you. Uh, you. The next finalist and last of the six finalists is Dave Santianis, and uh, let's see if we can get Dave. We've had some technical issues. We'll see if we got him. So, Dave, are you there? Yep. Yeah. Hey, we're Dave. Here. All right. Can you hear so, me okay. Yeah, we can hear you. So, so I mean.
Crested Butte, Colorado. So this is Mountain Town Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Well, you, you know, you can connect with Kyle. He's out in Colorado. You guys can go painting. Yeah. Okay. Let's introduce us to these. Introduce us to these two beauties that are that are leaning on you. This is my daughter Callie and my wife Heather behind. Hi, Callie. My my support system. Hi. Oh, I like the finger wave. That's good. I'm gonna pick that up. <laughs> Callie, I remember you when you were in your stroller. Uh, your mom and dad brought you to the plein air convention, and you were in your stroller. So that was a while back. You remember that? Kind of. She kind, kind of. Did. If she does, it's a miracle. <laughs> yeah. So, Dave, tell us yeah. a little bit about this painting. Well, this comes from many, many plein air hikes up to a lake, a high alpine lake in Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, it's one of my favorite places to paint. Um, this is Lake of Glass, and it's um, just a phenomenal scene. It, it's quite a trip to get back there, so you have to. I, I had to get all my gear in a backpack, um, pack up there. It's about a, a 10 mile round trip hike, um, but it's worth every step. Um, it, it's just an incredible place to paint. Well, you gotta be in great shape to be hiking 10 miles each way with, with your gear. Yeah, I don't know if it's in shape, but uh, my brain won't let me stop because I know what the, uh, <laughs> what, what the end of that is. Yeah, well, that's right. I, I have experienced the end of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Dave, congratulations on being a finalist. Now you're the last of the six finalists. So we're, we're now going to let the awards uh, begin and we're going to announce the, the absolute finalists. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with our honorable mentions. We have three honorable mentions. Uh, each of them will receive a $500 prize. And then we will have the, the other awards. So, um, okay. So Kelly and let's see, Sherry. Oops, I got to find Kelly again. There we are. Okay. So our first honorable mention is Kyle Ma. All right. Kyle Ma, congratulations on, on your honorable mention. Kyle, um, it's $500. It's, it'll buy you dinner. Well, thank you. I'm very honored that I received this award. So um, thank you to everyone who was judging and congratulations to all, everyone else. Well, uh, it's a beautiful you know, painting, Kyle. Really, it's a beautiful painting. Yes, they're, they're also beautiful. Yeah, so congratulations, Kyle. All right, our next honorable mention is, let's see here, Ben Bauer. Ben Bauer, congratulations. Uh, you have an honorable mention. It's a fabulous painting, and uh, congratulations. Uh, we've, we have no audio. You're, you're muted. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this. This is an awesome experience, and appreciate it. Well, we hope to see you live at the Plein Air Convention this coming uh this coming year, we'll all be there. It's kind of we're. I think we're all ready to go anywhere, quite frankly. Yeah. So, congr congratulations, Ben. It's a pleasure to meet you. All right. Appreciate it. Thank hey, you very ben. much. All right. So, our next uh, honorable mention is Christine Lashley. Uh, congratulations to Christine. Hey. We're all very proud of you. Thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. All right. Well, thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Now, uh, now we get into the uh, the prizes. The third place prize, uh, which is uh, $1,500, goes to Jennifer McChristian. All right, Jennifer, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Hey. It's awesome. I'm honored. Thank you. Uh, we're honored to be able to do it for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to be doing a feature in the magazine. Kelly, tell us about what's going to be coming up in terms of the feature on these these uh, finalists. Yeah. So for the December January issue, we'll have um, a small feature that will feature Jennifer and whoever the next two are. All right. Terrific. Awesome. Okay. Congratulations, and we'll see you at the Plein Air Convention. And uh, uh, we loved having you on with us today. Okay. So now 
the second place, place prize, which is $3,000, goes to Nicholas Coleman. All right, congratulations to Nicholas. And uh, Nicholas, what a spectacular piece. Hey, thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, it's, it's a beautiful Sorry. piece. Everything so is so disturbing. Very good. All right. Well, I guess that pretty much leaves us with, with the winner. And I think it's probably if everybody's keeping track. So the winner of the $15,000 grand prize, Dave Santiani's. Wow. Let's get him on the screen. <laughs> oh, a little celebration going on. All right. <laughs> Well, Dave, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm, well so, done. Oh, I'm, just, I'm stunned. This is such an honor. Um, I don't know well, what we, to say. Speechless. <laughs> so we've been uh, we've been conniving, and unfortunately, you blew our plan. We had uh, we had someone ready to deliver a big check to you <laughs> at your home in in uh, Colorado. <laughs> We, we've been quietly working with your wife in the background, and so she's known all along. No, oh, no way. <laughs> and no. Uh, but unfortunately, we were not able to get the big check to you, but it will be hand delivered when you get back to your house, and and uh, so we'll get some pictures of you with your big check, and uh, that'll be that'll be pretty cool. So, uh, congratulations again. Uh, any any final thoughts? Oh my gosh, I'm I'm just so thankful to to you, Eric Rhodes, and and the Plain Air Salon. Um, my wife, Heather, who's uh, she does everything. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's just I'm honored. Thank you. Uh, I, I'll tell you, there's nothing like recognition, and so we're very proud of you, and we're proud of all of you. I mean that all the. All the paintings were just spectacular. It was a very difficult decision for all of us. And so congratulations, Dave. And uh, we'll be sending all of you guys your checks here. Uh, they'll they'll come in the mail. And uh, you, you've heard the line before, right? Checks in the mail. So uh, we, we're really pleased with, with all of you and want to thank you all for being a, a part of this today. And uh, we just want to uh, thank our, our sponsors. Uh, I have a, a couple more things I want to play. And here's a word from our sponsor, Blick. Hi, my name is Troy Kilgore, and I'm a painter from Indiana. I've painted a lot of different subjects over the last 17 years, but I can definitely say that landscape is my favorite. There's nothing like natural sunlight. Its intensity can't be matched in the studio. And the colors it reveals are inspiring. I set up my still life under a tree in my yard. It's got plenty of shade and a little bit of dappled light. I'll use some flowers from our garden. I also like to use glass colored vases. I like to use a lot of texture and color. I try to take notice of how the light from the sun and the color from each object interact. I use oil paints and Utrecht is the brand that I've been using for the last 15 years. The colors are rich and consistent, and the body of the paint can be described as medium, not too soft, not too firm. I really like this field easel. It sets up 
really quickly and it's very sturdy. I've had large paintings on this in pretty good wind and it's held up. We want to thank our sponsor, DickBlick.com, for doing that. It was very generous of them to, to create this sponsorship and help us do these awards. Uh, they have a, a line of cadmium-free paints, which are really worth exploring as well. And uh, I happen to use their, their lead white, which is to die for. So uh, again, thank you to, to Blick. And uh, now our other sponsor, Realism Live. Realism Today presents Realism Live, the ultimate art learning event, October 21 through 24. Five days of online art lessons from leading artists. Learn to paint nature, people, flowers, and more. Become a better artist. Click the link to register now. We should mention that uh, the uh, price goes up 200 bucks on the 30th of this month. You can, you can get into that. Uh, Kelly and Sherry, any final thoughts? Thank you for everybody who's entered the salon and bravely put their work forward and um, for reading the magazine. And um, of course, you'll be seeing a big feature on Dave coming up soon and the cover of the December, January issue. Yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. So, mm -hmm. Uh, I just would like to publicly acknowledge the two of you. Uh, you're two of the hardest working people in show business. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Kelly is not only the editor of Plein Air Magazine, and she had uh, big shoes to fill when, when Steve Doherty retired. And Steve had been uh, editor with us from pretty much the beginning, but also had been editor at uh, American Artists for many years. And then you came over on board from uh, the Artist Magazine and from Watercolor Artist, Pastel Journal, et cetera, and joined us. And uh, it, it was just such a gift to have you and you really elevated the magazine and brought it to the next level. And then on top of that, you've created a, uh, a fabulous publication, a weekly called Watercolor, American Watercolor. Do you wanna tell us quickly about that? Yeah, so we've got, it's American Watercolor. Um, we have a website and um, a, a weekly newsletter. It comes out every Tuesday and it's devoted specifically to watercolor. And um, it's not specific plain air. It's just um, a way to kind of keep keep in touch with, with, that, with that community. Yes, and uh, do you want to go ahead and make an announcement about what's coming in January? I can, yeah. So following on the success of Plain Air Live and then Realism Live, we're launching Watercolor Live, um, and it's going to be in January, late January, and the website is live. So go on and um, see. We've got some faculty, some fantastic faculty. Okay, um, I know you can't mention them all, but give us a couple of give us a couple of names to wet our whistle. We've got Joseph um, Zivikvich, and we've got Thomas Schaller, John Salmon, and Linda Baker, Jean Peterson. Um, the list goes on. Already a big lineup. Yeah, it's going to be fabulous. And mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so we're looking forward to that. Now, I also want to give props to Sherry Don Haas. Sherry uh, is also one of the hardest, most dedicated workers. And she also came from uh, the uh, Artist Magazine and that group. And, and uh, Sherry edits our weekly newsletter, uh, Plein Air Today. She also edits our fine our collector's newsletter, Fine Art Today, also edits Realism Today for the realist audience, and, and is involved in so many other things, including coordinating and arranging the Plein Air podcast. And, and what else have I forgotten, Sherry? There's so many different things. Uh, social media is actually a big part of it, too. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, these people never sleep. Uh, and they're like me because I never sleep. And so if I don't sleep, they don't sleep. That's how it works around here, right? <laughs> well, uh, uh, you guys, uh, thank you very much for for the uh, choosing and selecting uh, these great winners and for putting such quality products together. Uh, Kelly, you know, you had big shoes to fill. And Plein Air Magazine remains the number one selling art magazine in America, outselling all art and photography magazines at Barnes & Noble nationwide. We also just got invited in as the only art magazine that we're aware of anyway, uh, into 258 Michael's stores and they're already start telling us they're selling out. And so uh, that says a lot about you and your philosophies. And, and so to the both of you, uh, 
uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys do just a terrific job. Now, uh, uh, we want to uh, just say a quick goodbye here. Thank you for attending the 2020 Plein Air Salon Awards. You can enter your best paintings each and every month. There are 19 categories, including acrylic, oil, pastel, watercolor and gouache, floral, landscape, nocturne, sunrise, sunset, figure and portrait, outdoor still life, water, animals and birds, western, plein air work only, buildings, vehicles, artist under 30, artist over 65, drawings and sketches. First, second, and third place winners of each bi-monthly competition share $1,000 in cash prizes, and all category winners are entered into the annual judging. Thank you for attending the awards. Please share this with your friends, and we will see you next May in Denver, Colorado, for the Plan Air Convention and the 10th Annual Plan Air Salon Awards. Well, if you want an experience and you want to, uh, uh, Colorado, we had, I don't know, 1,100, 1,200 people signed up for the plein air convention and then we had to cancel. And if we're allowed, if, if we're uh, back to normal, uh, that will take place or it will take place in, in a reduced form, but it's going to be phenomenal. And, and to be one of the, you know, 11, 1,200 people painting together in Estes Park and some of the other beautiful places around Colorado, it's going to be a spectacular event. And everybody's like, we got to get out. We got to get out. And so we are all looking forward to that. And that's going to be in May. And so I want to tell you guys also, every day at 12 noon, we're there for you. We know that these times are interesting. They're difficult. They can really mess with our minds. And so we're doing every day a 12 noon broadcast on Facebook and YouTube and other platforms. Just go to those platforms and search Streamline Art Video. And I'm there and I'm interviewing artists every day, a different artists every day. And sometimes we're doing demos. Sometimes we're talking about things, talking about art marketing. And we have done 184 days in a row nonstop without a day off. That's why I took two naps today. And, <laughs> and so... Uh, which is very unusual for me, but I, I think I'm running on low. Anyway, so uh, join us. And then every day at 3 p.m., you know, we produce uh, art videos under Streamline Art Video, Lil Adult Art Video, Creative Catalyst. We have a TV channel on Roku, Apple, and, uh, and uh, what am I forgetting? A Roku, Apple, and Amazon Fire called uh, Paint Tube. And we have a lot of our videos there. And then, of course, we have a lot of other things going on, conferences, events. I've got an event called Fall Color Week coming up in just a couple of weeks. And you, you can still join us at fallcolorweek.com. So there's lots going on. Uh, but we have videos every day for you at 3 p.m., same place. Go to YouTube or Facebook and just search Streamline Art Video. We're reaching tens of thousands of people daily. We're having people respond from all over the world. And today, for instance, we've all gotten to know each other so much that uh, we have people from all over the world. We've become this big family on the comments. And today we held a birthday party uh, for Mustafa, one of our friends in Egypt. And, and he sang happy birthday in Egyptian. And we sang happy birthday in in uh, English, and he, he had a, this beautiful cake, and it was really fun. So we're all becoming part of a big family. We would we'd love for you to join that family and become part of this uh, worldwide plein air scene. There's nothing like plein air painting to not only help you see and feel uh, things that you can't, you just can't get from a photograph, and it's also a chance to be outdoors. It's very social. You get to meet your friends. I call it the new golf because it keeps you challenged. You could paint outdoors until the day you die. It's just is one of those kinds of things. Uh, I was talking earlier today about Ray Strong, an artist in Santa Barbara who I think lived to 102, painted every day outdoors until the day he died. It was just fabulous. And so that's the way to go. We're seeing the plein air movement blossom. You know, it's all starting to come back. Plein air events are coming back. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it's an interesting time, but hang in there. It's going to get stronger than ever, and we're going to do this together. And I encourage you, if you don't know about plein air painting, uh, go to outdoorpainter.com. Uh, that's where plein air magazine can be found. You can learn about it, but we are all very enthusiastic about it. We want a, a round of applause for all of our 20 finalists, our six finalists, and 
for our grand prize winners. Uh, so each of you are, are rock stars. Uh, you know, it's very hard for us to, to select winners. We try to keep it very non-political. We don't look at the names and quality rises to the top. And the quality this year was really terrific. We encourage you to enter at the end of every month, including the end of this month for the next competition, which will be given away in Colorado at the Plain Air Convention, live and in person instead of online like this. And we're going to have a great time. We'll all be giving each other hugs or virtual hugs anyway, if, if we're not allowed to get close by then. And uh, we just want to tell you guys that we care about you. We think about you. Uh, we do this for you. Uh, we love plein air painting. We love plein air painters. We love plein air collectors. And uh, of course, a lot of artists are also collectors. We have collectors and artists both reading the magazine. And we love all these plein air events. Uh, we heard today that somebody said that plein air Richmond was no more. Somebody watching this needs to bring it back and find a way to bring it back. We need plein air events in every community across the world. We need to spread this worldwide. And the more people painting, the more joy the world will have. Thank you. God bless you. And thank you for watching the plein air salon art competition from plein air magazine. Thank you, editors. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you, Eric. Congrats, everybody. Yeah. Thank Bye. You.